Welcome back to the Anything Goes Project. I have been waiting all week to do this particular video. As you can see behind me, I've got a row of $20 budget flashlights that I'm ready to get started on. So today, this video is going to be the $20 budget flashlight battle. Woohoo! Um... Crunch. Yeah! Okay, so that just happened. All right, let's get into this man shit. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't wanna be one of the nameless. I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't try to stop me, I exist to remember your story I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory, yeah Don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring, yeah Just want a life that is worth every day exploring, yeah. Well, here we go. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that way you can be notified the next time we go live and decide to do a review on a product or teach you a little something about bushcraft camping or whatever it is. Man, shit. That's what we're here for. Okay, so let's get started. What we've got here is a series of flashlights that are all fall within the $20 budget. So they're considered budget flashlights. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put them up against each other and kind of give you my thoughts and perspectives on it as to which light will give you the most bang for your buck. So... First up, we've got our Job Smart Bushnell. These are both within the five inch range for length. Then we've got a couple of Coast Lights. We've got the G22 and the PX22. And then I've got for like key fob lights, uh, Frog Legs. They make these little bitty, little bitty, little bitty lights. They're actually pretty good. So we're gonna we're gonna show you what they do against. An Olight key fob light. You can, sell, you can see there's a big difference in size there. There's also a big difference in the bang. Finally, we're going to be putting what these right here against one Olight. And we're going to tell you what we think about it. So let's get going right into that. Baby, lock them doors and turn them lights down low. As you can see, I had to turn the lights off a little bit. Uh, still got a little bit of background lighting here so that the camera doesn't do some major weird crap uh, as far as focusing. So what we're looking at here is first, this is the Job Smart. You can find these at Tractor Supply. Some Walmarts carry them, but they run anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks, depending on the sale at the time. This is a Bushnell. This is the Bushnell flashlight. I found this one at Walmart. It runs $19.95. And both of these flashlights are single mode. So you'll be able to see the brightness on them. So for a single mode, that's the Job Smart. And that's the Bushnell. Now, if you'll take a look at it, you'll see how on the Bushnell the central point is a lot smaller. It's more of a narrow beam and the Corona kind of fades out as it goes. And over here on the job smart, you've got a larger beam and then it kind of fades out a little bit. And then it does this little weird yellowish brown thing up here in the top. And I think it has to do with the inside bezel that's inside of it. But uh, they're both pretty good lights. They run about 120 to 180 lumens and as far as like centralizing the light itself, you can see the difference in it right there. Obviously this Job Smart is a lot brighter. It's gonna light up more than this Bushnell is. But the Bushnell is a little softer and easier on the eyes. So that's something you gotta consider when looking at a flashlight. So let's drop these two out. And now we're gonna look at the Coast Lights. Coast is a brand that I've used for quite a few years. They are very durable. Uh, and this particular one is, I can't see it in this light. 
the G22. So this is the G22. We're going to run through both of its modes. It is These are dual mode. You can see that's bright. Or that's the bright. And that's the dim. Based on where the corona is at. You see how my finger is further into it now? Okay, so if we put it in low mode and lock it into place. That's low mode on the co on this coast line. Now the PX22 is an upgraded model of the G22. They run the same price though. Okay, so this is low mode for it. See the difference in it? The G22 is not quite as bright. This one has a larger corona area both sides. Now we'll put them both into high mode. Okay, that's high mode for the G22. Now this one, that's high mode for the PX22. And as you can see, as far as lighting up everything, the PX22 does a much better job than the G22. Now still, they're both really good flashlights, but as far as brightness goes, you'd be better off upgrading to a PX22 for the same price as the G22. You're going to get more of a, uh, a bright, uh, you're going to get, your area is going to be brighter and you're going to be able to see more with it. Now, I like both of these flashlights. I've carried both of these for quite some time and like I said I have no issues with coast but uh, as far as bang for your buck I want to put these two aside and next we're going to go over here to the key fob flashlights I found these at Lowe's they run about eight bucks which is still in the twenty dollar range and as far as size wise they are teeny tiny. You can see it right next to an Olight. Now, they do their job. They are twist on, just like the Olight. And as you can see, it's not a bad little flashlight. You put it on your keychain. You'll be able to find the keys, uh, find your keys in your purse or do whatever it is, or you'll be able to get the keys in the door. Now, as far as this one goes, let's see it on low mode. That's low mode for the O light. I don't know what it is about this blue light that's on the frog light, the frog legs, but for some reason, the coast, the uh, O light, that color is a lot more pleasing and satisfying to the eye. It doesn't hurt the eyes to look at it. Now they ray, they run about the same in low mode. You'll have to consider, though, the frog, frog legs, that is it. That's all you get with it. Now, with Olight, you also get a high mode. You just twist it a little more, and boom, look at that. That thing lights up this whole room. Using it like a candle. Light up the whole room. Now, that is a lot of bang for your buck. I would, if you had to go with a key fob light, I would very highly suggest the frog, uh, the uh, not the frog legs, but the O light. Frog legs is a good brand. It's good for a little, just something to keep in your purse. However, if this one goes dead on you and it quits working, you've got to find those little bitty button batteries. This one, you twist it. And it spring loads and pops out. And right in this light, let me turn on this one real quick. You can see it right there. That's a USB-C charging port. So your O-Light goes dead on you. You just plug it into the USB and let it charge. And boom, you now have light again. Now, like I said, great little flashlight. Now here's the Olight i3 TEOS. This one is in desert tan. 
Now I'm going to put it against the Coastlite PX22. And the reason I'm doing that is because these flashlights are about the same size. You can see that the, the Olight is just a tad bit shorter and narrower in the barrel diameter. Yet, they both run on AAA battery, one single AAA battery, and they both cost right at the same amount, about 19 bucks, 19.95. So, as far as bang for your buck, let's go through first and turn on this one into low mode. That's bright, low. We'll put it right there. That's low mode on the PX22. This is low mode on the Olight. I know it's not as bright, but it's supposed to be a low mode. There's, you're supposed to be able to tell the difference between low mode and high mode. And you see, I had to flip this one a couple of times because I wasn't quite sure if I was in low mode yet. Not to mention, that would be so nice if you're in your vehicle and you don't really want to blind yourself but you want to dig around in your glove compartment or something, and you don't necessarily want to light up the whole area. So, that one right there, I really like that low mode. It is a big, significant difference in the low mode, just like on its key fob version. Now, we'll put them both into high mode. This is the PX22 in high mode. This is Olight's. Big significant difference. Look at that. You can see them together. Big difference over here. This is going to obviously, I can point it straight up and it's lighting up the room. Whereas this one, let me turn it off. Look at that. It's lighting up the room. Ultra bright. The big difference I like between these two right here is the differences in low mode and high mode. High mode on this one is super bright. Low mode is super dull. So that way you don't blind yourself with it. This one is harder to tell with. Not much of a difference between low mode and high mode there, is there? This one Low mode, high mode, low mode, high mode. And it's just simply by pushing on the back of the button here. So let's go ahead and jump out of this and jump back to regular camera. And I'm going to give you my opinion. So as you can see, we got to see how each of these lights perform in the dark. Now, this isn't just something that I go and say, oh, I'm going to buy this and I'm going to do a review immediately on it. No, I carry them for a couple of weeks and I try them out. All of these lights are worth the money. They are all worth the $20. I have not had any complaints with them. Even the Bushnell, even though it's not that bright, it is still a damn good flashlight to carry around. The Job Smarts, you pick these up at Tractor Supply. These are kind of a no-name brand, but they still work. Uh, my one Job Smart, I've kept the batteries in it almost a year before having to change it. Coast lights. I've put these things through hell. They've been submerged in water. They've never failed on me at all. And it's the same thing with them. The battery life is insanely long. So for the best bang for your buck, I'm going to suggest you go with Olight. They both fall within the $20 range. This one maybe, I think, is a little bit more than $20, 25 21 or 25 somewhere around there. But it's still in the budget category. $19.95, you can pick it up on Olight's website, or if you're a Prime member, you can get it there and get free shipping on it. So, Olight, in my opinion, is the best bang for the buck out of all of these. Uh, I know it's going to tick some people off because I, I know a lot of people that are big Coast Light fans. I talked to one today at work, and he's like, I don't like carry around it's Coast Light. And I showed him the Olight, and he's like, shit. Now I gotta buy an Olight. So, best bang for your buck is gonna be Olight. But like I said, I'm not dogging on the rest of these. These are all still fall within your budget and they are good lights and they will get the job done. But as far as I go, 
I think I'm going to be sticking with the Olight. Uh, I've heard people talk about Night Eyes and Streamlight. Uh, they've got some pretty good products out there. I don't own any of those, so I can't honestly give you an opinion on it. If somebody wants to send me a Night Eyes or a Streamlight, I'd happily put it up against my Olights. So with that, guys, we're out of here. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, also check out our Discord. We've got a really good group of guys and gals that are in there and they're sharing their EDCs and just we're just in there having a good time. They are, like I said, the link is in the description below for the Discord. Uh, we're doing a lot of really cool things, getting onto Clubhouse, having some conversations, doing the Discord. The website is continually being updated, and we're doing giveaways on this channel when we reach a certain number on our subscriber list. So if you want to be part of that giveaway, you have to be subscribed, and you have to be following our channel. So with that, guys, we're out of here. You guys have a wonderful weekend. <laughs>